I started moving some of these blocks over here because that was kind of always the plan was to um, well originally I wanted to use some of these blocks to make a little patio area because this area is so gross it's so weird too that this last year was nowhere near this thick of growth under there I mean you could see the ground so whatever it is that's growing in there which I mean some are, are raspberries and then there's those little hitchhiker plants they've just grown like crazy uh, it's June 11th today so um, this is just how everything's looking I mean very happy I took the there was a wire I guess you'd say a, a fence door we just had a, an extra piece of that old rusted wire that my parents gave us and we just had it stretched across the front like hooked here like it was hinged um, because last year I didn't know what kind of pests I didn't know if the dogs were gonna wreck the garden I, I wasn't sure so but this year I've decided to take that off um, and this is a really hard spot to get in to mow um, so I had some leftover fabric I had leftover fabric that I just kind of decided to pin down here for right now to kill some of these weeds although I not all of them because some of them decide to try to grow right out anyways unfortunately most of my nasturtiums have uh, died so I have very few left most of them rotted at the ground level so I think next year I'm gonna start them in cups first and get them growing well um, I only have two beans <laughs> and then this bean popped up today or overnight which I didn't think I would have anymore I've got 10 cucumber plants that have made it um, which for some reason I thought I only planted like nine and I should have paid attention it was probably some more like 12 because two of them rotted um, again it damped off because we did 10 we did uh, we did get a lot of rain shortly after they were planted but I did soak a couple beans overnight a couple nights ago and I put rocks here to mark their locations of where I put new beans in the ground. So we'll see if they if they make it. But we're gonna at least have three bean plants so far. But they grow decently fast that I'm not in a panicked rush or anything like that. Oh, didn't I have a cucumber tag here, or didn't I? Huh, I wonder if it was, I hope it wasn't on that door that I put in the shed. I have to check that. So I thought I made a little tag for the cucumbers as well. I mean, the tomato ones are still there. I don't know. Um, so the tomatoes are a lot of them not all of them a lot of them are starting to flower This is the guy that had the stem cut off. He looks kind of Stunted we'll say like the rest of these guys are getting nice and thick and spreading their branches out wide This little guy's finally catching up um, but That guy back there is stunted more um, yeah, I put some, again, some old weed fabric that we had just because the, I don't want the weeds growing up next to these tomato plants. And I went out there and was pulling some weeds, but I'm going to figure out something to keep them away to, best I can to keep diseases down. And I'll be putting something back here too. I think I have a couple little small scraps or I'll put newspaper. I'm going to put something. Um, but either way, this was the last little tomato that went in the ground and he's finally kind of spreading his wings a little bit. So the zucchini, it's the same. Um, we still had two spots that were missing. So we got seven out of the nine, but I'm okay with that. Cause I think I'm hoping that'll be plenty and who knows, I might wait another week and put two more in the ground. 
you know, to fill those empty spots and also because just to kind of stagger their growth. This pepper, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to make it or not. But that's definitely, that's what happens when it sits in uh, soggy soil over winter. I mean, it had some new growth. And it's trying to get a couple little peppers on it, but it's just not doing as well as I expected it to. Um, this one, on the other hand, has taken off like crazy. I mean, it's got all this new growth all over it. And the peppers that it's getting, I mean, it's got this pepper on it, which is a decent sized pepper. And then it's got this guy on it, which is a really decent sized pepper. Um, you can barely see, but we have some carrots starting to grow. And yep, obviously the watermelons haven't done anything yet. Don't expect that for like another week-ish. These tomato plants are doing really well. None of these so far have been attacked um, by those uh, cutworms like the other side. Probably because we had a garden over there last year and we had uh, broccoli and mostly broccoli where those are planted and then we had beans uh, further down. Oh, my little maple tree. It's going to give us shade any day now. <laughs> my apple tree there. I don't know exactly how, what to do with that secondary branch on that guy. So I've been watching so many conflicting videos to prune, to not prune. It's like, ugh. I don't know. Hey, right, here's the brassicas. They're really, really taken off. Starting to get there. Is it too late in the season? I don't know. I mean, it's mid-June. It's definitely going to get warm for them. They're being flopped over right now in part because the wind is coming from that direction. But also, I hope those don't reattach. I got in here uh, with my little weeder tool and scraped these weeds all around. It's not easy with this straw mulch in here, but did my best. And I don't know. I've got I've got like a a redneck solution for shade in that I got two um, curtains that kind of let some light through that I'm going to try to use as shade cloth because it's supposed to get almost 100 degrees next week and the kale in particular are going to be very very unhappy with that so I've got some shade cloth that I'm going to try to use see if it helps it lets some sun in but it's not shade cloth, it's the curtains. <laughs> but we're gonna just, we're gonna try it. And you can see my sage is flowering and it's just beautiful. I mean, how gorgeous. These guys are gonna be popping off any day now, I think. And those, I guess they take still a little while. Look at these strawberries. I could just keep my shadow out of everything, but look at those. Look how big that guy is. I mean, some of these are just monstrosities, but in, in such a good way. How beautiful. And these are the Fort Laramies. The first time I, I said it, I think I said Ozark Beauties, but I was wrong. These are Fort Laramies. Alright, this guy is still, still hanging on, still barely hanging on. He looks really rough up top, of course, because all the leaves have died up there. But the rest of these leaves, I mean, they look like they're trying to survive. You can see this apple tree is like really bushed out beautifully. You can see the little, I hope you can see it because 
very dark. To, I can't see in my viewfinder, but that little apple is really swelling. And there's some down there. Hopefully they aren't all supposed to be looking like that right now and that these guys have stopped growing. Hopefully we get more than just the one apple. And yeah, this guy, I don't know what is causing all of this leaf spot. I clearly need to find out. I don't know if it's a disease or an insect of some sort. Look at how beautiful. There's a monarch on this lilac I was just walking past. <laughs> so pretty. And then there's a bumblebee. <laughs> Scared off the monarch. How gorgeous. Just wanted to come and take a look at my little mulberry tree. It needs to be weeded around, obviously. We gotta take care of that. But, I mean, it had like little flowers like these but they've all dried out so I assume that with the transplant shock maybe um, since they all dried and fell off I can't imagine is that a ladybug? that's very strange this air conditioner just didn't get hooked back up it might in the future, which is why um, I'm going to try to protect it on top. Now, it can handle water getting down inside of it, but if this thing, if these drawers here burst and drop soil, I don't want that to happen. I know it can handle some dirt getting down there, but I'm just going to try to protect it. The best thing I have right now are all of these reusable grocery bags. Now these ones are really plasticky, um, so they might not let much of anything through. These ones are more cloth-like, so I'm going to use those to actually line the drawers so that water can still get out. Totally ghetto slash redneck thing might not work. <laughs> it's a just, I don't know. But instead of looking at these empty drawers, which we had from uh, a bed, that is pushed up against the wall. The bed is not going to come away from the wall, so these drawers are never going to be useful on the opposite side of the bed. So instead of just having them stack up in the garage and not be used for anything, I decided that we would try to use them for some kind of flowers or, or something. I was going to fill them with some soil. So I went over to our, our dirt pile over there, I should say our dirt hole, and dug up some more, mostly sand. I had a little bit of topsoil from in front of the shed. I had a little bit of compost. So I'm hoping I can make a, you know, a semi-decent mix out of this. I'm going to add fertilizer naturally and all that kind of stuff. And then as I get compost, I'll probably just layer it on top or, or put some sort of mulch, maybe some uh, grass clippings. Um, we'll see. This is probably really stupid, but I'm kind of thinking of putting some extra pumpkin seeds in here and letting them trail along the ground. I only have four uh, room for four pumpkin plants, and uh, my mom really wants some pumpkins. I want some pumpkins, and so I'm going to try to get some more growing. I asked Alexa today, and it the pumpkins that I want to grow take 110 days max and from today's date 110 days now granted you got to add the germination up to 10 days on it but from today's date 110 days from now is September 29th so well before um, Halloween and we shouldn't get our first frost I mean it says it can come anywhere after like October 1st or something like that but I've personally not seen that here. It's usually the middle of October, sometimes later. So I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to try and just make it I mean, as pretty as I can for as ugly as this is. I mean, there's no other good way to do it. I might plant annuals in front maybe to kind of disguise it. I don't know yet. But anyways, so that's what I'm doing. Also, I have a very nosy neighbor. He's trying to see what I'm doing because he was peeking at me from over there. See him? He's watching what I'm doing right now. It's just a little, well, a decently sized jumping spider. But he's coming, he's very curious. He's coming to check out what's going on over here. 
Um, I don't need your help, my friend, but I think in the end you'll be hopefully happy with this since there'll be dirt and plants and probably bugs for you to get. <laughs> See, he's just checking me out, trying to figure out what's going on. Okay, this is sort of what we're working with so far. Um, it looks a little sloppy right now. I'm going to start putting uh, soil and stuff in there. The reason why I thought I would do this is just to keep dirt from falling in between in the cracks as much as possible, especially while I'm filling it. And it just kind of adds a slight extra layer to the inside so that hopefully the water will mostly drain from the outside. And if I have to come back through here with like a drill bit or something and make some holes on the side, I'll do that. Um, hopefully I don't have to. The bottoms don't fit tightly in here anymore because they've also been sitting out in the sun for a while. Um, in the weather, so we'll see. I'll see you back. Okay, now I got it filled and I'm leaving some. I could go get another load, but I want to top dress this with something better than just the little bit of compost and, and sand and stuff in here, so I'm going to leave room to do that. Okay, so I had what I think is going to be a brilliant idea for this year, and that's to plant all of our orphans um, that were left over from planting the garden. So, because look at them. I mean, the dill looks beautiful, but they're turning yellow. Um, they're not doing so good. I think that's what I'm going to do. So, I've got some cocoa core soaking in here. And I'm going to mix that in. I'm going to mix it into the stuff, which is pretty dry up here. This will give it some added uh, aeration and uh, moisture retention. So I'm going to do that. I don't, this is all the cocoa core I have left. Otherwise, I would probably put that much per bed. But, you know, broke people got to do what broke people got to do. Oh my god. Biggest spider. I don't know if you can see it. That big ass spider just came out of my plant. Oh, it crawled up over top of my glove, over my hand. Thank God I had a glove on. I don't know what I'm going to do to get it out of there. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I've been working on my arachnophobia with the, the garden stuff, but that's a little much. It's a little much. I'm going to have to try to scare it out of there. Oh my gosh. Oh. And I keep losing it because it's so brown. Go, dude. Get, get, go, 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 go. Ow, all the way. Ow, what are you doing? No, don't climb that. <laughs> oh my God. Go, go, go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yuck. Oh my gosh. Dude, shoo! I don't even know what, I don't know, you look too skinny to be a wolf spider, but maybe that's what you are. Can you go? Yeah, go down there! Oh my gosh, now I'm going to lose my mind. Hopefully there's no more. Like, why on earth was it in there? Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Now, I did finish planting the lavender, which was its home for some reason. I'm planting more Jardale pumpkins, um, since they're good for both pie and decoration. So, I'm just going to put two in here. There. And, um, other than that, I've got two, I don't know what kind of peppers back there. One, I think, at least this one, I think, is a bell pepper. I've also got a mystery tomato, another mystery tomato, another mystery, because these were all labeled, and when we planted them, they hadn't been outside for a month, and you could actually read what they were, but now you can't read what they are, it's faded. Um, so I did put the dill in the ground, and um, the parsley, which just needs to be trimmed back here and then and of course these things like the rosemary 
when it's big and the lavender those are going to have to go into a more permanent garden but in the meantime i don't want them suffering growth oh i don't <laughs> oh i see him he's still there look at him anyways um i don't want them to not get good growth while they're waiting for a forever home yeah, pluck off some of these so yeah I'll, that poor spider he's probably just as scared he's probably thinking what on earth i did have a home a, min a minute ago and now here i am sitting on some leaf and i don't know where to go from here so my bad sorry sorry little guy so it's maybe a little fugly but um and I think, even though these green onions are pretty much done, I mean, they're go-getters, you know? They've been in this cup for a very long time as well. Make sure there's nothing creepy in there. Doesn't look like it. But they've been in here for a long time. Um, over a year. And I have used a lot of... I have cut them back a lot and used them in uh, vegetable stews and stuff, vegetable stuff. They just, they deserve to have a little bit of a home. I think I'm going to put them in this back corner just so that they'll be kind of up against the wall. Not like the wall's going to help a lot for wind, but in my brain it'll help enough. It can lean against it if it needs to. Look at how overgrown. Look at these roots. Poor guys. But they smell so good though. Oops. I don't know if you can see. I, it's so hard. It's too dark in my phone. And uh, it's really hard to see. It's hard to see what I'm looking at. But let's see. Hopefully that'll be enough. And I'll have to come out and trim them back too. I don't know if I'm going to be able to reuse all these cups. They weren't in as good a shape as I had expected. Uh, these old tomato plants, I don't know. I have such a hard time just throwing out extra, extra seedlings and stuff, even though I should. So, you can see some of the things are starting to try to grow. Um, even one in this perennial cup is growing, but mostly just two, looks like just two little annual seeds. Oh, there's another one starting in that corner cup. Anyways, like I said, I have a hard time just like throwing them away. So might I just stick them in the ground here and there as if they're annual flowers? I might, if they grow on the ground and if they get blight and at least at least they got to grow. They didn't just get thrown away. Might get a few tomatoes off them. Gotta get some water. Yeah, so I'm just I'm watering these. You know, most of the potatoes in here are rotten, but I saw that slip growing. And, oops, as you might be able to see, there's um, beans. I planted a couple beans in there. Those were just the ones that didn't germinate over there and they seemed very dry which could be why I didn't have great germination success I think I planted four new beans but I soaked them first just water everything in and water some of that dirt off not gonna worry about it too much because when it rains all that dirt's gonna get washed off anyways. And who knows if these little tomatoes will do anything in here. It's not like a lot of room, but and most people don't grow indeterminate tomatoes in containers. It looks like our spider friend has decided to move on. Ugh. Which then means, I don't know where it is. Which is the scary part. Yeah, I shouldn't be watering this time of day, blah, blah, blah. 
Um, but it's pretty cloudy. I mean, the sun is only sort of showing. All right, so I'm going to get this mess cleaned up. Um, and basically, I think we're done here. Yeah, I think we're done here. Look at that. Onion is using the dill to hang on for some reason. <laughs> I didn't notice that. Anyways, well, thanks for watching. Again, not a whole lot going on today, but just a little, little something. And I'll have to keep you updated on how well this drains. And this one, I, I did, though, put a little extra water in there for some reason. But look at, you can see it's starting to drain out. So that's what I wanted to see, actually. That's perfect. Okay. And I'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching. God bless.